let's talk about the mechanics of that because it, it's not just the Sunrise Movement that did that great protest and then an AOC who put Green, Green New Deal on the map. Uh, it was 350.org, Tamara, your group, that actually got Obama to change his policy on the pipeline. Yep. And so, and, and I remember being skeptical on the show thinking, they're not, there's no way Obama changes it. Obama takes money from corporations too. There's no way he's going to change. But you guys proved me wrong in the most wonderful way, right? Yeah. And so, um, so let's talk about what you do because if, if in the scenario where Democrats control uh, all those uh, chambers, they're not going to do it in the beginning. Uh, we all know that. Uh, Biden said he's against Green New Deal. Pelosi calls it Green Dream or whatever. Ed Markey supported the Green New Deal, and now the establishment is backing Joe Kennedy uh, to primary him to get him out of there. Uh, so they're, they're not going to do it. So then tomorrow, what do you do on day two when they don't? Uh, well, we'll have been mobilizing for so many months because of the state of the election that we'll, that we'll already be there on day zero. So it is my sense that the same folks who have shown up in the streets again and again demanding climate action are already thinking about what the first 100 days have to look like, what the benchmarks are that we need to see, how many no's it will take before we get a yes, the fact that we won't be patted on the head and told to go away and come back. Some of us in this fight are Generation X, and let me tell you, we have more than enough um, uh, barbed wire in our sensibility about what the world is like uh, working with our colleagues in the multi-generational space that we aren't imagining a distant future. We're focused on leadership today. We're looking at people's promises for tomorrow and we're ready to hold them accountable. Even today's announcement about the VP pick, our first response was great. Here are all the things you've ever said. We look forward to holding you accountable to them. Congratulations. So it's just going to be more of the same, and we're not going to give an inch because one thing we learned from the Obama administration is that well-being, well-doing, not the same thing. Yeah, well, here, here. To our last question goes to you. So uh, when the, the streets meet uh, Wall Street uh, and and tomorrow organizes, uh, you know, she's head of North America for 350.org, so she's going to be the one organizing those protests. Uh, and Wall Street goes, no, Joe, remember when you said nothing fundamentally, fundamentally would change? Remember when we were so excited when you picked Kamala Harris? I'm keeping it real. That's what happened, right? And so, no, you're not going to do that. What happens? Well, one thing the climate change organizers have recognized is that they have to connect to uh, the movement for racial equality as well. And once that happens, that's a whole different ball game because the, the country's already seen uh, a, a sea change. Uh, you know, I, I worked in the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement, anti-Vietnam war, you know, for those who don't remember which wars I'm talking about. So this is the, the, the biggest campaign post the killing of George Floyd, uh, biggest movement I've seen for racial equality since the, the 70s. And I think if those, the climate change people have begun to recognize, frankly, how racist they have been up to this point, and once it's connected to uh, the fact that they've recognized that if they are able to connect for organizations and people for racial equality, that's a movement that, you know, nobody can ignore. I mean, you just can't. And by the way, I might add, you know, as long as, as John Lewis pointed out in one of his last tweets, I understand your pain, but the violence will only help the other side and will only help Donald Trump win. So if you keep out the violence in peaceful mass demonstrations and you connect those two mass movements, then that's unstoppable. I really think we have to recognize that power is something we haven't seen for decades. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.